Hi, my name's Adrian James from Nice Times Clips. You're watching Live Prog. important in an album? Um, does it have familiar names on it? Does it have to have original music? Maybe instruments that you don't hear that often? It's very hard for bands to keep coming up with new and interesting ways to grab the attention of the listener and hopefully uh, to get the listener to buy the album. Nevertheless, uh, there seems to be an endless stream of bands releasing their music onto the world and hoping that people will enjoy it and buy it. Now, if you follow my reviews, you know that I don't go into the technical side of music because I am not a musician and, um, well, frankly, I don't know much about that. What's important for me is when I listen to an album, I gotta enjoy it. I gotta, it gotta, it's gotta be pleasant for me to have the album playing in the background or on my headphones or whatever I'm doing. That's important for me. Um, and the album I have in this review uh, has a couple of the elements I just mentioned in my opening questions. Um, it's this one, Relocator. And well, it doesn't have a title. Um, it's a self-titled debut album of a uh, well, sort of German band. This is an older album already, and I was kind of down whether or not to, to do the review. Um, but I kind of enjoyed it that much that I wanted to bring it to you. And well, of course, you know, you can just listen to what I have to say about it and make up your own mind whether this is an album you want to buy or not. Now, um, to start with the first thing, a familiar, famous name. Um, a special guest on this album is none other than Derek Sherinian. Now, I don't think he needs any more introduction. Uh, Derek Sherinian used to be uh, the keyboard player with Dream Theater a while back. Um, has released several amazing solo albums uh, and did work with Planet X and with a lot of other people. When he was invited to play on this album, initially just uh, you know a solo or just a small part, uh, he liked the music so much that he wanted to play the entire album. So he is the keyboard player on the whole album. Now, I gotta say, that's a big plus. Um, when we're talking about uh, different kinds of instruments, um, well, if we go through the lineup, you'll see Stefan Artwin, uh, the guitar player, Michael Prusniki, sorry for that, I'm terrible with foreign names, um, you know, read it here and then you'll know who it is, uh, bass and fretless bass, Frank Tinge, drums and percussion, uh, another difficult name, Bartek Strigarski, electric violin. Now, and you noticed, no vocalist. Yes, instrumental music. Now, an interesting uh, instrument used on this album, electric violin. This changes the whole sound. describe the music on this album, I'd say it's a, a, a nice blend between uh, melodic rock and fusion. Now, as you all know, I'm not a big jazz and fusion fan, uh, but sometimes it's poured in the right way, it's mixed with the right other ingredients that I find very interesting, very nice to listen to. Here's another example of such a blend where they do it very well. Had they not used the electric violin on this album, I don't think I would have found it very interesting. I probably would have thought, oh, okay, you know, another one, because there are many bands who make this kind of music. But this instrument makes the music and the band stand out, it makes it more interesting to listen to. And that is something I really found. So, you could say that um, this album uh, well fulfills the questions that I asked earlier. It has a familiar name. Um, it has fairly original music and it has an instrument that you don't hear that often in music. So, um, 
are we there yet? No, of course not. You still have to enjoy the music. Now, that is something that we all decide for ourselves. It's very difficult for me to decide for you. You know, you're gonna love this album. I hope you do. I gotta say, I really enjoyed listening to it. Um, but I can't say much about the music because um, it's a very nice album. Uh, it is. It's. Uh, it's very nice on the crunchy guitar side. I liked it very much. But on the whole, um, mainly the guitars, the bass and the drums are really nice in balance with each other. Um, that said, I gotta say when I was listening to the album, uh, I really found the bass was just standing out a little bit. You know, the bass player of this band really managed to get his, well, his part in the album to a little bit of a higher level. And therefore, it just stand out a little bit and then you hear it. And that's very nice. That's what I find important uh, in the music. Um, of course, the whole um, violin part on this album is very nice. It, it makes it very nice to listen to, um, even though it's an instrumental album. Um, I gotta say, sometimes you have an instrumental album where one of the instruments uh, tries to uh, you know, take up the vocal parts and take up the lead a little bit. I didn't hear that much with this album. I, I, I kind of wish they did that a little bit more because uh, the, the hour is about 60 minutes um, and, and well, it's, it's fairly long. If it would have been shorter, it would have been maybe a bit nicer because um, in the end with this album, I must say I kind of miss the vocals. Um, it, it, it has the danger of losing your attention towards the end of the album because it, it's well, it's, it's really nice music. but. Uh, I gotta say, if I put it on in the background while I'm working, I absolutely enjoy it very much. that absolutely stood out for me, that I really love very much. That is track number five, um, Avishka. Well, the name already gives it away. It's a bit of an oriental uh, touch to it. It's very nice, I really enjoyed that one. Um, it's one of the longer tracks on the album, I gotta say. You know, it's, it's kind of ambitious, kind of bold to do that. They have two tracks clocking over 10 minutes. Um, uh, Avishka being the first one, and the final track of the album, The Alchemist, being the second one, clocking 11 and a half minutes. So, um, they're fairly long tracks altogether, eight of them. Nevertheless, it's, it's a very nice album, it's, it's very nice guitar work in it. Um, very interesting to know, the drummer, Frank Tinge, he's Dutch. And there are a couple of uh, musicians that have their history in Poland, and a few that have their history in Germany. And well, Derek Sherinian in the United States. So it's a very international album. Uh, that said, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with the end result. I, I really enjoy it and I enjoy it enough to bring it to you because, well, there's a fair chance that you might like this album as well. Um, the band is working on new material, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, you know, wondering what they're gonna come up with now. Of course, uh, Derek Schwinnin is a guest, so he only played on the studio album. They have a live keyboard player, um, so, well, I'm very curious to see how the next album will gonna evolve. For now, I think this is a very interesting debut album, very worth to be heard, uh, and hopefully to be liked as well. Um, I haven't shown you the inside. As you can see, I still have it in my hand, but by now you have seen what's inside the booklet. You know, beautiful artwork, beautiful paintings, because, well, there are no lyrics, but they still have made a very interesting booklet. So altogether, a very fine debut release. Um, a little side note, this album was also released by Generation Prog Records, the same label that released uh, the very good Afflorush album. So, um, well, a new label with good releases and hopefully more good releases in the future. Now, support music, have a listen, I hope you like it. Uh, you can listen to all the songs on the website of the band. So check out Relocator and if you like it, please buy the album.